Liz, you mentioned the, how lutein helps with uh, blocking some light. Talk about blue light. Uh, we've read a lot about that and, and how lutein does that and why that's important. Well, light, you know, there's a spectrum mm -hmm. of wavelengths. And so UV light, we think of skin problems. And, sure. and, and, but the, the visible light that we see, that's the blue light. And the, wa the wavelength of blue light really coincides with the wavelength of, of this yellow pigment that, that such that it, it absorbs that. I'm not sure if that okay. makes sense. But um, it's, it's the spectrum of the, the wave, light waves that we're used to seeing. We're used to seeing the blue light. And that's, that's really the, the light that gets to the retina. Okay. The, um, the UV light, the, the lens kind of gets, takes care of that, that it, it doesn't reach the retina. But it's the blue light that reaches the retina. Mm -hmm. And so if you block that, with this yellow pigment, the yellow pigment that absorbs that blue light, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Strange question, but what role do sunglasses play? Do they do they let that kind of light through? So, um, if you get the kind, yeah, sun. That's the idea. Um, so, when you look at risk factors for age-related macular degeneration, number one, age. Mm -hmm. If you're over 80, one in three chance that you have this disease. Okay, mm -hmm. we can't do anything about that. Uh, another risk factor is genetics. There are genes that will put you at risk. Can't do anything about that. But what can we do about things about? What behaviors can we change? One, smoking. Don't smoke. Mm -hmm. Smoking really creates this oxidative environment, mm -hmm. and that's not good. Um, smoking, uh, drinking too much, um, and diet. And that's where I come in. What are the components in diet that make a difference? And um, lutein is thought to be important, and along with these other nutrients that were looked in this large um, study conducted by the National Eye Institute. The, the, the data is not really good on that because it, that's a hard thing to measure. They've, they, they've looked at um, sun exposure, people, you know, like construction workers mm -hmm. or farmers, suggesting that more sun exposure throughout a lifetime puts you at risk. But that's harder data to collect. Mm -hmm. uh, but the idea is that protection from sunlight as much as you can is going to benefit, and it's not going to put you at risk, certainly. So to wear sunglasses, broad-rimmed hats, um, anything to avoid too much sun exposure.